Shamase! Hey everyone, this is Joseph. Welcome to the channel. Is the human body like a galvanic battery? We're gonna take a look at some clips from Dr. Michael Heiser and Theora Apophysis. I don't know if you know what a cold cathode is. You can look up what they are. It is the case in first experimentation with uh, X-ray uh, tubes that uh, when uh, the anode would heat, the cathode would chill. Fascinating phenomena. Yeah. They've ignorantly concluded and unintelligently concluded that that disembodied being is actually drawing energy from the uh, ambient environment, but they're not. It is no different than a cold cathode. Like I said, when a uh, disembodied being enters into that same room, for example, it will chill. Disembodied beings are cathodes by nature of their being. By the nature of an existential psychophysical being, where we consume calories and eat food and that generates heat and, you know, Right? Well, actually, uh, uh, a human being is uh, kind of, not exactly, but nearly so, an anode. We have an, the uh, exothermic reaction that we have from burning calories from food. Human beings generate heat, obviously so. Everybody, everybody knows that, but all these disembodied beings are uh, cathodic. They are like uh, cold cathodes, cathode end of a cold cathode. Yeah, they are... We could say interdimensional beings, but these beings exist in counter space. And by intelligent, um, well, the ancient Pali word is monomayakaya, um, because they actually call it the dibakaku, the heavenly eye. When Peter was in prison, and he is, of course, released by the angel who intervenes and takes him out and sets him free, Peter goes to the house of some friends, knocks on the door, and a little girl comes out, hears his voice, recognizes who it is, and she's so excited that Peter is out of jail and in safety that she runs back and says, hey, Peter's at the door. And what does everybody inside say? Oh, you must be kidding. You're joking. This just can't be. And one person says, it must be his angel. Now, there was a common belief in the Greco-Roman world that either when a person died or a person's guardian angel was sort of like a celestial double. Again, we could think of that sort of as a ghost because it could be associated with, well, this person's died and now they're back again. It's not really them, but it is. It's their disembodied spirit. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago, forbidden light reading. This is light. Our bodies are like galvanic cells with the dielectric induction flowing from right to left. Your right hand has a natural pushing force and your left hand has a natural pulling force. Like water and air, so you're cycling them. It's kind of like the world with the sun, the moon, the north star like the salt bridge. It's interesting that galvanize means to coat with a protective layer. Okay, so here's a quick clip from Jacob Israel. The trident is also the psyche, the soul, the soul, the trident, the psyche, the soul. This is where it gets weird. Okay, okay. This is, oh gosh, this is so cool. So I saw this clip from Jacob and I thought that was kind of interesting because here the seventh rune of the second eight represents the link to the fetch, the psychic divine self. The English language actually derives from the Elder Futhark runes. The seventh rune of the third eight relates to the magnetic field. So here this is a neodymium magnet in front of an old screen. So what do you think about a galvanic cell relating to the magnetic field? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Arigato. Mata ne. Bye bye.